For a student to come and study the history of art in Venice, is an experience that is not like anything else. The reason why I chose Warwick is so I could come to Venice and also because of how small and great the department is. The whole now second year come for 10 weeks. I'm Naomi Vogt, I'm an assistant professor of contemporary art history. My name is Otto Somer-Smith, I'm an architectural historian. I'm working on a book based on my PhD thesis. I studied the ways in which artists from the 1990s on have been interested in inventing their own rituals and I tried to understand what that meant, how that was possible. I work on the everyday built environment of post-war Britain. And I'm interested in not just architects and planners but all of the decision makers and users who go into making the built environment. I, I, I cannot say how exciting it has been to experience this with the students. They focus on the Renaissance and on the contemporary period through lectures as they would during a normal term at university, but also through site visits and seminars that take place in real space in front of the work. I think it's important for us history of art students to be in such an immersive experience of art. So we've got the modern with the Biennale obviously being such an important part of modern art. And then you also get the Venice Rise and Myth where you study from 1100s to 1600s where you just look at your Titians, your Tintorettos, your buildings. And I think it's very important to have that kind of um, immersive experience. So when you're separated in groups, you uh, go around with the with Otto, Naomi or Louise and you feed back on your own. We all bounce off each other's ideas. It's not strict in any way. You're, you're constantly moving, you're constantly stimulated by the environment. So one of the components of the course is the weekly lecture and this focuses on histories of exhibition but also a general introduction to contemporary art and the ways in which encounters with art have shifted radically from the 1960s until today. Another component of the module is the seminars, which always take place in situ. These are mostly student-led. Students give presentations on installations or pavilions that they have chosen to talk about. And then we have group discussions in smaller groups about the works that are actually in front of us. One of the best things about being in Venice with Warwick is that we get our own Biennale card and we're able to visit, uh, experience the exhibitions and all the curation over and over again so we can get an understanding of what we're about to present. There really is nowhere, I think almost in the world, where you can see as many incredibly important 20th century architects. I'm particularly fond of the Scandinavian pavilion which is this extraordinary concrete piece of sculpture which brings in the light beautifully and has this trabeated roof which is reused each year by artists and how artists inhabit these spaces is very exciting and the Japanese pavilion really is an example of how my eyes have been opened by going round with the students together and we talk about it and it's just extremely exciting. <laughs> The day trips are incredible, they are so productive. I enjoyed Padua yesterday a lot. The Arena Chapel was such an experience. That is what you learn in first year and is one of the most incredible pieces of painting in history. That fantastic chapel, um, you know, painted around 1305, where from literally um, dado level uh, onwards and upwards, and around, in sense around, they are immersed in this wonderful narrative world of fresco painting. Our accommodation, we have been helped by Chiara in Venice to help us out with finding our flats, which you do in England, but here we've got everything provided. You don't have to worry about anything. So I'm living um, in a flat, it's a lovely flat in San Marco right by Rialto Bridge, so it's very central. Like, everything's 20 minutes away. I'm living with uh, three other students uh, in Campo San Barnaba, which is right near uh, San Margarita, which is sort of like the Soho of Venice, I'd say. It's so incredible being in such a... It's the perfect place for a history of art student. I think any type of interest that the students have, there's, there's something for them. However, coming to Venice means that we have fresco paintings, we have sculptures that form part as well 
of architectonic structures. We have mosaics, we have bronze sculptures still on site, and which is something that only students can appreciate and really learn and live with if they're here for an entire term. If you are studying history of art, there is no reason why you shouldn't come to Venice. You have a close connection with your tutors, uh, everyone in the department is so lovely and so welcoming. And we all sort of, you know, when you're living with your uh, your course mates, you all get each other up in the morning, you all go to the lecture. We were walking through Canareggio yes. and I was like, oh I love this, come yes. on, more of this please.